Good evening. Repair work to the M5 Oldbury Viaduct has drawn fresh criticism today from its closest neighbours. Queues, contraflows and lane closures are already testing the patience of thousands of motorists across the region and it'll be 18 months before it's finished. But tonight we hear from residents living practically underneath it. They say noise, dust and debris are making life unbearable as the concrete surface is repaired and waterproofed. Highways England say everything's being done to minimise the impact, but calls are growing for a rethink. Joanne Rittle is there live for us tonight, and Louisa Curry has spent the day on Birmingham Road. So basically, this is what we're going to put up with. We're living here, you know, 24 hours a day with this. The Bodleys have lived here since before the motorway was built in the 1970s. Just metres away, they're used to noise. But Paul says this is the worst it's ever been. There's times when I've sat in the house thinking, I hope I go, I hope I actually pass away, because we can't take no more. It's been billed as the UK's biggest ever concrete repair project. Contractors will remove more than 30,000 tonnes of tarmac on 1.8 miles of motorway to carry out waterproofing repairs. I can't cope no longer. It's driving me to insanity. <sighs> A few doors down, Natalie believes pollution levels have increased. She's worried about her family's health and says the noise is keeping them all awake. We can't literally live the way they're doing the works through the early morning hours. We, we, can't, we just can't do it now. What we're saying to them is try and do the work, the heavy work, in the daytime, during the daytime, and during the night, early hours of the morning, then just let the residents sleep. Just give us a break. We put people's concerns to Highways England and in a statement they said that they are regularly updating residents on their progress and listening to their concerns. Workers they say have been reminded to continue to be considerate in their behaviour and a review of working hours has taken place. Motorists have been advised to find different routes during the two-year works but the motorway's nearest neighbours are struggling to know which way to turn. Louisa Curry, BBC Midlands, today in Oldbury. Well, Joanne Ridley is in Oldbury for us tonight, looking at the wider concerns of these roadworks. Highways England under a lot of pressure over this, Joanne. They really are, because it's causing such a headache far and wide. Just last week, a group of MPs called on Highways England to rethink the work. That's because the lane closures leading to the Oldbury Viaduct are causing such long delays for commuters. And the Worcester MP, Robin Walker, has said there must be an alternative. Local MPs are joining forces to push back on this uh, and to really challenge Highways England to take another look at the situation, see if they can make things a bit easier for that crucial traffic that flows up the M5 uh, into Birmingham, supports the economy of Birmingham, supports the economy of my constituency in Worcester, uh, and we think it would be in everyone's interest to take a different approach. Well, Highways England didn't have anyone available for interview, but has said to us that it'll do more work to assess the impact all around the area. A spokesman said they were working with local councils to balance the flow of traffic across the region to minimise disruption. And he added, we're assessing what other measures can be used, including liaising with uh, councils and uh, seeing what else we can be do to and motorists can then make informed decisions about which routes they take. Highways England has urged people to be patient as this £100 million scheme goes on, but people's patience, it seems, is really running out. Joanne, thank you. Some breaking news.